everybody. Crew Chief O1 here. I'm doing a VR response today for Dr. Uptown. He has a one year celebration, 1,000 sub contest. Congrats, Doc, on the one year on YouTube, and congrats also on the 1,000 subs. Uh, awesome, man. Really good job. Uh, shows you're doing a good job with a thousand subs. A lot of people see it. A lot of people are liking your stuff. I know I do. Uh, really enjoy your vids and uh, enjoy the comments you leave and uh, just appreciate you doing uh, doing what you're doing for the gun community. In your uh, video response you were asking for a few things. Uh, first thing is, is what gun would I have in my possession that would hold the most meaning to me in why does it hold the meaning? And what, what does it mean the most to me? Now, right now on the screen, you're seeing a Marlin Model 60. It's a 22 long rifle. I got this in uh, 1977 uh, when I was getting out of grade school and going into high school. Um, Dad asked me if what I wanted, and I told him I wanted a, a rifle, and voila. And uh, had a lot of have had a lot of good times with this gun. Uh, uh, it has a scope on it now, but I'd say the first 15 years I had it, it was just the iron sights and spent a lot of time in the woods with this gun and a um, uh, lot, a lot of, a lot of varmint control, you could say, uh, a lot of squirrel, and just had a lot of, a lot of good, good times, a lot of plinking. I don't know how many hundred thousand rounds or more I'm sure I've got through this gun, and uh, I'd hate to try and even think of really the number, but and. Uh, then I ended up putting a scope on it about 15 years ago, and it, it just just a tack driver. And uh, I've had it put up for a while now, and um, every time I've handled the gun, it's always meant so much to me that my uh, my dad gave it to me. My dad's been gone for quite a long time now, and every time I've handled that gun after he he was gone, it it always reminded me of him. And today, just looking at it, reminds me of a lot of good memories and. A lot of good memories with the gun too, so it holds a lot of a lot of meaning for me. It's a pretty neat gun here. It's uh, it was manu. These were starting. To, these were manufactured and uh, they started manufacturing these in 1960. Uh, still in current production. Uh, they hold. It's a tube-fed gun. 14 in the tube. 22 long rifle. Um, really a nice gun. Real simplistic layout, and uh, for as long as I've had it. Um, it's really got a heck of a finish on it yet. Man, it's got a great walnut stock on it, and uh, I don't know if you can see uh, see how how nice this is yet, but it's just got a beautiful finish on it. Always have had a great finish stock on it, and uh, I've refinished it once since I've had the gun, and uh, it's just it's just beautiful. And uh, the bluing still is really good, no rust on it. And, very few scratches, just a little bit of it around the front collet, but not much, not much for me to complain about. Really a pretty gun. Uh, brings back a lot, a lot of memories. A lot of memories. No doubt. And uh, I was kind of split dock on the one gun, the one, the, you know, the one thing, and I've got two that it's just, it's just a real split decision for me, and, and I think I want to show you a second one that, that means just as much to me, if not maybe a little bit more, and uh, let me go ahead and reset this up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, I got this set back up. Um, this was a split decision, like I said, this was, uh, this gun means as much to me as uh, the rifle did, and uh, this is not the prettiest representation, but the memory far exceeds uh, the looks of it right now. It's going under a little bit of a redo. I got some. I got the grips finally ordered. I had this thing put up in storage for many years. This is a 1927 H&R Arms. It's called the American. It's a double action. 32 sharp Smith and Wesson cartridge. Um, this was my grandfather's. Like I said, this was my grandfather's revolver. Uh, my grandmother bought this for him in uh, 1927, 
uh, the Sears and Roebuck catalog for two dollars if you can believe that back then uh, uh, pre-depression and all that uh, it was it, the, the times that was a lot of money two dollars was was a fortune and um, he was he had his own business and he was getting robbed all the time and this and that and she bought this for his uh, protection for his own personal protection and uh, he carried this for a long time <laughs> And uh, when I grew up and I was able to start working in his store, um, he, um, I can remember fond memories of him having this, um, you know, he always carried this every day on him and um, it saved his life once, that's all I can say, is it definitely saved his life and uh, I have a lot of, I had a lot of memories of growing up seeing that gun, him carrying this gun, it's got quite a bit of wear on it and uh, it's all nickel plated and wear marks on here from the holster and him drawing it on the back strap. It's worn off from him drawing it. And it's uh, it's pretty nice. It's uh, got a black blue trigger on it and the hammer, all of, the hammer's just uh, plain. I don't know if it was blued at one time or not, but it's pretty plain. The grips uh, were cracked on it when I got it. And so I uh, took the grips off quite a few years ago and put it up in storage and, and did, you know, just pretty much put it up for a long time. I got this thing out a couple months ago and it took me a while. I bartered some grips and I ordered a spring kit for it, all new internals. And I was going to have it refinished and um, I decided not to. I decided I'm just going to grip it and, and spring it and I'm going to put it in a glass case and put it on the wall because it's been put up for too long and... Um, a lot of memories here and is a, is a good gun. I will never shoot this gun. I definitely will never fire it um, just because of its age anymore and um, it's just so hard to find the parts. I'm, I mean it's 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 really gotten hard to find parts for this. So I'm gonna um, it means a lot to me and Doc I hope I hope this is what you were going for. I kind of went a little longer with it than I should have. I doubled up and but these both mean a lot to me. I mean, both of them together ain't worth a hell of beans, but it's the memories behind them that I'll 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 always cherish. It's it's a lot of my family's history. And uh, when this gun, I get the grips on it and finish it, I will do another vid and maybe post it again. But like I said, it's not the prettiest representation, but there's a lot of memory here in both of these guns, and I think that's what you were going for. So you also asked. Doc, of um, how uh, how I support the Second Amendment, and um, right here, right here is how I support the Second Amendment. I am a proud member of the NRA. I have been for many, many, many years, and I will continue to be. Thinking about going and getting just my lifetime membership next year when this one expires. I'm thinking about just finally doing it and being done with it. So. But it's 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 what I can do on a daily basis that does the most for our cause, and all of us together, uh, we all need to just we all just need to support this NRA as much as we can because without them, um, we will, we'll lose one of our most precious rights. And uh, once we lose one, it'll just be it'll be a ball rolling for them to you know to take more rights away from us and. That's not what this country was uh, adopted for. So this is what I do right here, Doc. And um, there's a lot of great local local agencies and local organizations that you can join. But get involved. Uh, definitely, you need to get involved if you're a gun lover and are wanting to get into guns, or you've been into guns and you're not part of anything. This is this is one of the cheapest investments into your shooting hobby that you can do to support the NRA or any local agency that supports our Second Amendment rights to have this type of hobby. And uh, I'm not going to go on harping on it any longer. And uh, you have uh, one other question you were asking uh, for me to give a couple of shout outs. Well, I got three. And you wanted to have shout outs for channels that would be half the size of mine. Well, yeah. Hmm. Mine's pretty small, bud, so these guys are right there, and I think a little larger than me, so 
Uh, but there are three great channels that I really like, and, and I think if you guys get out there and you're not sub subbed them yet, you need to. Um, the first guy is the Montgomery 519. Second guy is Gunsmoke Guy. And the third guy is 013 Kona. All three of these guys have very unique sights. And, I mean, their, their channels are definitely awesome. Um, each, each one of them has a little different go at it. And they're all three making some great vids. If uh, you're watching this vid now and you're not subbed to these guys, I'll be leaving the links down on, below. And go by, check them out, and sub them. Please sub these guys. Um, it is really nice when you make these videos to get some type of comment back, that you're doing something right that people want to see, and to get subbed. It, it's, it takes a lot of time and effort to make these videos, and to do a halfway decent job to, keep, you know, to capture somebody's attention for the subject matter. And for them to comment or even to sub you to let you know that you know, you're, you're doing something right, it really helps this whole community here on YouTube um, to get the word out, you know, of, of gun safety and, and, and just enjoying the gun world in a safe manner. It really helps all the channels grow as subbing. And it's, it's probably the least you could do to make the most for a channel, to be honest. So if you get a chance, please go by and check these guys out and sub them. There's a lot more channels out there, too, to be subbed. And... Uh, it never hurts to sub somebody that you see that's making an effort to uh, put something out there to uh, give some information or review or, or something that they think that is important for uh, the community to view. Doc, congratulations on the one year celebration on uh, YouTube. It's been awesome. It's been awesome. Um, the thousand subs, congratulations on that part. Um, you'll definitely be... Uh, uh, growing for sure, man. After a year, it's only it's already a thousand. I can imagine next year we'll we'll probably have your five thousand, hopefully. Thanks a lot for letting me uh, get involved in your video and support your channel. I appreciate that very much, and um, hope you enjoyed watching my vid. And as always, later.